Okay, so I decided against opening all of the packages um, on the video this morning, partly because I, my daughter selfishly has gone back to uni uh, and my wife is working away from home for a couple of weeks. Woo! So, uh, home alone, um, and to save a bit of time for yourselves as well from having to sort of maybe watch me laboriously trying to open things. Um, I've skipped that bit, apart from the two boxes here. I'll take the tape off and the brown bin liners. So um, I haven't looked inside them yet, so that'll be a bit of a treat for us all. So what is there here this week? So first of all, Ribeiro, uh, 1991 a United home shirt in an adult size. Really, really nice shirt, that one. Big fan of Ribeiro. Um, made some absolutely brilliant shirts for a whole range of clubs uh, in the late 80s, early 90s. Then we've got a modern one, Zara, Motherwell. Um, this is a signed shirt. I don't know an awful lot about this one. It is long sleeved, so again, that instantly drew my attention. Along with the fact, obviously, it's a cup final commemorative shirt, so I needed a bit of work to do on that one. Uh, this was a cheap and cheerful one. Uh, this was just a tenner. Um, Stuttgart, mid 90s, added a shirt. I think it's a double XL size. Uh, as a Liverpool fan, well, I can never resist these. Candy, 89 90 home shirt. 1991 home shirt, pretty good condition. Just a slight nick, well, hold on. Slight nick there on the candy logo, but otherwise it's not too bad. <laughs> now this one, I couldn't resist this one. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Slough, specifically. I am a fan of new Olympic shirts from the sort of the mid eighties. And when I saw this one coming up on eBay the other night, I couldn't resist it. Uh, and the size has been handwritten on that label there. But New Olympic, again, made some really nice shirts uh, for a few teams. Mostly known for doing sort of template shirts uh, for non-league clubs or sort of amateur clubs. But that's a really nice one. Then we've got Centenary Liverpool home shirt, 1992. Again, in really nice condition. This one looks like it's only been worn and washed a couple of times. Again, there's no fading on that neck label. Uh, then we go on to Berry. Um, a bit garish, but Lecoq Sportif, birthday sponsored Berry uh, away shirt from about 1996. Size uh, is 3436, but these come up a little bit bigger than that. But uh, it's a bit of a Marmite shirt, but I quite like it actually. And anything Berry from that time is quite hard to get hold of. As is, or are, Elgren um, Wigan Athletic shirts. And uh, Heinz, well, what can you say about Heinz? There's no size label. Um, but it comes up as something like a 34, 36, embroidered Elgren, embroidered Wigan, and these are really hands teeth rare from, from about 1989. Now this is a modern shirt. I don't, hold on, let me get my phone back in line here. So I don't do modern shirts that much, uh, but this is a York City Under Armour one. Um, and if I can do this and hold the phone and talk at the same time, it's got the Y down the front there, the Y front. Now let's move on from bad jokes. Um, there's a reason I bought this one. Um, I will have some exciting news to share with you all uh, quite soon. Uh, and all will be revealed as to why I've bought this and one or two other pieces. Um, then we've got a dream team, Harchester United, Sky TV, fictional team. I bought this one um, because it's long sleeved and it's new with tags, adult small. This is quite small as well in size. Made by Valsport. Um, I think everybody's got a soft spot uh, for these shirts. They're getting quite hard to get hold of and certainly getting more and more expensive. And then finally from this batch, again, if I can get my phone camera work um, working a bit better, uh, we've got some dead stock 80s socks, Adidas. So West Ham, these are in a kid's size. Burgundy, three stripes, of course, and the trefoil. Liverpool, the 85, 86 white away kit in an adult size. Um, they are dead stock, like I say. They've got one or two marks on them from like 30, 40 years of storage, but pretty good. And then a bagged pair, go on camera, bagged pair, uh, Man United 1989-ish um, away socks. So really chuffed to have got those. And bear with me while I put those away. So I said we had some dead stock in the orange um, drug-looking bales. Uh, we've got some better treasure than that, though. So 
2011, 2012-ish uh, dead stock here. It looks like leftover JJB stock, if I'm honest, uh, when they went best around that time. So we've got a, a bundle here, a black room rose away shirts, uh, adult large, unsponsored, quite a plain shirt. Um, but they were, these were cheap and cheerful ones, so I couldn't resist them. Still tagged. Um, so a good bundle of those. As a Welshman, well, this has always been my favourite Welsh shirt, certainly from the last sort of 15 years. Uh, the Royal the Rovers, Melchester Rovers um, style shirt. We've got a few here which are still bagged. Uh, tagged, of course, and the unbagged ones. Um, again, come on, Paris, get your hands working properly. Uh, still tagged. All the black cells. Uh, I'll be keeping a couple of these, certainly bagged ones, uh, but the unbagged ones will be available soon. And then we've also got Linfield. So Linfield, 125 year anniversary shirts. And I've got to say, I've got a soft spot for their shirts. Um, really nice commemorative badge there. All tagged, some are bagged. Dead stock, you just cannot beat dead stock. And as I say, we've got a nice bundle of those there. So that's the dead stock. And then we've got these two boxes. Now, those of you that uh, regularly follow uh, some of the bigger known auction um, websites uh, will probably have seen these come up for sale last weekend. Um, I think I've probably paid a little bit too much for them, but the heat of the moment in an auction, sometimes you just can't help yourself. So these are mostly Cardiff City shirts, I think. Um, so let's have a look at these now as we get them out the out the box. And this one is one of my favourites again. This green is absolutely stunning. Uh, made by Zara, who again made some really nice shirts uh, in the late 90s. It's nice there with the Wales badge on it as well. And good old Ken Thorne. And we'll go through these quite quickly. So that's obviously a fairly modern one. And uh, that's Hoffs. Tofts Riverside FC. I have no idea what that is, but obviously it's a modern uh, copy of, of an old one. Uh, Wales Kappa. Uh, another Adidas Cardiff from there. Uh, that's just cheap as the shit, so let's throw that one away. And then we've got Puma Malaysia Cardiff. Badge Joma and uh, we've got another Malaysia Puma one, that's quite nice. And we've got a slightly older one and long sleeves, oh, yes, excellent. But the bane of modern shirts, stuff coming off in the wash, cracking the sponsor's logo, that's disappointing. Um, and the old Wales colours there, the black with the yellow stripes. And then we have another Puma. And we've got bagged and tagged. That's quite nice. Classic. Toffs made some absolutely brilliant stuff. And um, they were one of the companies that actually got me really, really interested in shirts. Um, in the early 90s with some of the stuff that they were reproducing then a little bit i know what was going to happen thereafter and actually trying to track down the originals and i've got a long sleeved one communications direct i'm not familiar with that sponsor long sleeved sorry the camera works a bit all over the place here then we've got another modern one puma well, there's delightful betting sponsors on it. Well, here we are, it's a bit more trad. Um, Red Row Homes sponsored. I guess that must be a goalie shirt. On sleeves. That's quite nice. I really need to practice this uh, camera work talking and uh, we'll have it at the same time. Another added this one. And finally, in box one, we've got uh, another modern 
gentlemen, possibly a training shirt, that one. So that's the first box done. Let's now have a look at box number two. Now oh, there's, there's the invoice. Let's, uh, let's discard that one as well. Good job the wife isn't here to see what, that, what I paid for these. Um, right, so we start off with a, another red row shirt. It's quite nice. We've at least said probably about red Cardiff shirts, the better. But that is, that is quite a smart shirt. Uh, this is interesting. And uh, this is a very rare shirt. Um, this is a Strike Force Cardiff shirt. They only wore this in um, the FA Wales Trophy, not the Welsh Cup, uh, but another Welsh tournament. And they only ran this tournament for like two or three years. I think it was the late 90s. The Strike Force produced this kit, uh, different to the home kit for that season. Uh, specifically for use in the competition. So that's quite a rare shirt. I haven't had one of those in a little while. And then we've got uh, another Puma. Maybe a training shirt. No sponsor on that one. We've got another one of these. Premier League patch. Is the one on the other sleeve. Oh, there is. It's always amazed me why people put patches on one sleeve only and then we've got some t-shirts oh no we haven't oh my goodness wow so Deutschland versus Wales 16th of October 91 was that when Rush scored the goal at uh, was it Cardiff to beat Germany 1-0 well I've never seen one of those before if anybody knows anything about that one, please get in touch. That's an unexpected bonus. And then we've got a modern. You've got your fans here. Uh, modern Adidas Road to Kiev T-shirt. That's quite nice, actually. Nice bit of detail on that one. Cool. Nice top. And then we've got a, okay, 2002 World Cup t-shirt. Got a bit of a hodgepodge here. I think we've got lots of t-shirts coming up now. Ah, famous night, famous night. Uh, nice retro France shirt. Uh, that's a school draw one. And score draw made some nice shirts, but never quite as good as Toffs, I didn't think. Material wasn't quite as good. Sorry, score draw. I hope there's no rude ones here. Um, nice stuff though, all the same. Of interest to someone, I'm sure. And then we've got, again, another nice retro shirt. By Toffs, Bluebirds badge, and uh, Leaks one, I think. Yeah, Leaks Puma. I have to say that all of this stuff, apart from the the poor quality manufacturing of one or two of them, the condition is outstanding. Uh, sadly, a reproduction, score draw of the Admiral shirt. That would have been too good to be true, wouldn't it? And we're nearly done, folks. Uh, another. Uh, school draw reproduction of the mid 70s. Love that collar, always love that collar on the shirt. More t shirts. I think we're near the end now, folks. It's this one. That's quite nice. And it's not red, I suppose. Um, Bulgaria. This looks, yeah. Something tells me that's not an official shirt. All right, off to the bin, that one goes. And that one as well. Is that France 98 World Cup or just Nasty France? Fake. Yeah, the latter. Oh, nice whale shirt here with a patch. 
That's a nice shirt. The respect one on the sleeve. It's coming off a little bit. Then we've got... Maratta looks very, very nasty, that one. Yeah, let's spin that one. Need done, folks. Uh, we've got another whale shirt. No, we haven't. It's the same one, sorry. Oh. Uh, new with tags. Red Cardiff shirt. Shall we move on? I'm sure you don't want to hear about red ones. Um. <laughs> the Super Ted. Reproduction again, who we've got this time, retro range. And finally, and again, that's a reproduction of the South Wales Echo one by Cumper. It's quite a nice example. They've done a good job on that one, to be fair. And I think that's it, folks. So thanks very much. Thanks for watching that, 16 minutes. Uh, you could have had a couple of cups of tea and, and uh, some biscuits on that one. I hope there's some stuff there that you found interesting, and I'll catch up with you all soon. Cheers.